Hello everyone, welcome to IAE. In this video, we will solve a numerical problem on power electronics, which states that a phase controlled single phase rectifier supplied by an AC source feed power to a RLE load as shown in the figure. So what is the figure? Figure shows that there is an input voltage and uh, this is a block diagram for the single phase controlled rectifier and this is the output voltage and the loads are given. Let us see what is being stated in the uh, problem. The output voltage V0 is equal to Vm by 2 pi 3 plus cos alpha, right? Where Vm is given as 80 pi volts and alpha is a firing angle as you know, thyristors are there, there will be firing angle. Okay, fine. If the power delivered to the lossless battery is 1600 watt, the power of this battery is given as 1600 watt, okay? Then you have to find out the firing angle, okay? Fine. So, the things that are given in the numerical is this one and this one, okay? And 1600 watt. So, let us write it down. The output voltage as it is given, let me write it as Vm by 2 pi 3 plus cos alpha. From this given expression, actually we have to find out cos alpha, right? But to find out from this equation, the cos alpha, we need to know the value of this output voltage. Because from one expression, you can't find out two unknowns. So you have to find out the VO from the given data. Okay, fine. So what are the data are given? RLE is the load. So what we can say, the output voltage must be VO equal to VR plus VL plus V, E let us say V is the battery voltage, okay. This is known to us, which is nothing but 80 volt, fine. But we do not know the voltage of the V R and V L, okay. But we know that the voltage of the resistance must be I into R, okay. That is I is not known to us, R is known to us. But you know, at this point, you have to find out one thing that what is a V L. One thing you must keep in mind that the average voltage across the inductor is always zero. So what we can say output voltage must be equal to IR plus 80 volt. Okay. Now let us find out what will be the VR that is I into R. Okay. But we see one thing that the battery power is given lossless battery and which is 1600 watt. Okay, so if the battery power is 1600 watt, we can see that V into I, the voltage across the battery and current through the battery is equal to V into I, which is equal to 1600, 1600 watt, right? So we can write it as 1600. Now, at this point, we must say V is the 80 volt voltage across the battery. So from here, we can calculate the I through the battery must be 1600 divided by 80 and this must be uh, 20 ampere isn't it so i equal to 20 ampere so what will be the vr vr must be i into r so 20 into 2 equal to 40 volt now the thing is that 80 volt is known to us 40 volt is known to us. So the output voltage, total voltage will be equal to 40 plus 80 equal to 120 volt. So this is our output voltage. So now what we will do? We will just put this value 120 volt at this expression. Then we will find the cos alpha. Let's see. Now putting this value, it will be 120 equal to Vm is given as 80 pi. So we must put that value 80 pi divided by 2 pi 3 plus cos alpha okay now pi pi will get cancelled this will be 40 0 0 will be cancelled and this will be 3 so we are getting 3 equal to 3 plus cos alpha which is nothing but cos alpha equal to 0 when the cos alpha is equal to 0 right so it will be when alpha equal to 90 degree so this will be the answer that alpha equal to 90 degree is the answer. So in this way, we can calculate the firing angle of the given problem. I hope you liked the video and understood the concept. Thank you for watching the video.